Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Michelle from West Caldwell Public Library. How are you today? It's good to see all my friends. You know why I'm here. It's time for musical story time every Saturday at 1030, but also Wednesdays at 4 o'clock. Today we're going to read a story about a grumpy... I can't tell you yet. You're going to have to wait. The suspense. Can't tell you yet. But it's a cool book. A grumpy somebody. Show me your grumpy face. Are you grumpy today? It's still kind of early in the morning. Let me see them. Ooh. All right, well, it's time to smile because we're going to read a story and we're going to sing some songs and then I have a little fun activity for you after. So hopefully that'll get everybody smiling and happy and awake. So the first thing we always do in my story time is we warm up. We're going to keep it quick today. We're going to roll our shoulders like we did back on Wednesday. Can we roll them five times? Can you count with me? Let's roll forward. Ready? One two, it's almost like rowing boat, three, four, five. How about rowing, rowing, yeah, rowing, rowing backwards. Can you roll those shoulders backwards eight times? Whoa, that's a lot of counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now, one of my favorites that we haven't done in a couple weeks is we're going to clench every single muscle in our whole body. So not just our shoulders, but I like to use my shoulders as an example. You can see they're clenched. That means that I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding them. We're going to do that. We're going to count to 10 in our heads and no, no cheating, no counting very fast, counting slow like normal. And then we will release our whole body. So we're gonna tense every single muscle. Can we do it? Count to 10 in your head, ready, go. I wanna see some silly faces. I'm checking, I'm opening one eye. I'm counting, I'm counting, I'm counting. And relax. Oh, boy, that feels good, doesn't it? Wow, feels very relaxed. So we're gonna sit up straight. Our backs are gonna be straight and our shoulders are gonna be behind our body slightly. Good, we don't wanna look like a robot, but we wanna sit up nice and straight and we're gonna breathe from our belly and that's not an easy concept and I could talk to you about it another time, but we're gonna to try to breathe from our belly. We're gonna breathe in nice and quiet without raising our shoulders. And when we breathe out, we're gonna breathe out on S. It's going to keep us calm, like that feeling after clenching your muscles and then relaxing. Let's try it. We're gonna sound like snakes a little bit. Let's breathe in. Very good. We just let all the air out of our body. We sounded like a, like a balloon and somebody pierced it a little bit and all the air was coming out real quietly. Okay, my friends, instead of warming up our vocals like crazy, we're gonna sing our listening song. We do that anyway, and I think it's a good warm up for the morning. So, eyes are, ears are, lips are, hands are, feet are really, you should really listen, listen, very good. I always say this, but if somebody had never watched our videos before, they think we're a little crazy. Those were not full sentences. Let's do it again. I'm going to say all the words in case there's somebody new today, okay? Eyes are watching. Ears are listening. Lips are zipped. Hands are still. Feet are really quiet. You should really try it. Listen well. Listen well. Very good. Let me see your listening ears. Make sure you have them on today. Very good. So we are going to sing the listening song now with the piano. We're going to skip singing it without because you already know this. Let's sing it. Think while you're singing. Oh, these are the things I do when I'm listening, when I'm a good listener. We're not just listening with our ears. Isn't that silly? We're actually listening with our whole body. Sounds so weird. Let's try it. We start with our eyes. And our note is, okay, so eyes, nice and loud. Remember to sit up straight. Think about breathing from your belly. It's a lot to think about, but do your best. Ready? Shoulders back. Nice and loud, but no screaming. And do the moves for me. Eyes are Awake 
today. Very good singers, excellent. So we will read a story now. I told you it was about a grumpy somebody, a grumpy cat, a grumpy dog, a grumpy kid. No, I love this book. I think it's so awesome, Grumpy Duck. Look at that grumpy face. He is a major grumposaurus or crabosaurus. I use those words all the time for my students. A grumpy duck. Let's see, why is he grumpy? Hmm, oh, look at that gray cloud following him. Ugh, major grumposaurus. Rain, okay. Okay, so grumpy duck, excuse me, forgot. Grumpy duck by Joyce Dunbar and Peter Horacek. Here we go. I think you're going to notice that on every page here, our duck looks grumpy. Duck was feeling grumpy. The pond was dry, so she couldn't paddle in it. I forgot she was a girl. Oh my goodness, sorry. She had no one to play with. A little gray cloud appeared over her head. Remember on the cover? So she's sad, guys. Why is she sad? Well, the pond is dry, that's pretty sad, right? So she couldn't paddle away, which she loves to do. And she had no one to play with. I get it, she's grumpy. This happens to all of us. Okay. She waddled over to Dog, who was digging a hole. I've got no one to play with, she said to Dog. You can play with me, said Dog, if you like digging holes. I don't, grumped Duck. Digging holes would make my feathers dirty. Uh-huh, Dog sighed. The little gray cloud got bigger. Uh-oh. Okay, next. Pig was rolling in the mud. I've got no one to play with, Duck said to Pig. Come and play with me, said Pig, in my gloopy puddle. Ooh. Uh, no thanks, grumped Duck. Duck's like water, not gloop. Oink, honked Pig. The little gray, gray cloud got even. What's the word? Bigger, it is bigger, okay. Hmm, rooster was cock-a-doodle-doing. I've got no one to play with, said Duck. You can play with me if you'd like, said Rooster. We could sing a cock-a-doodle-doo chorus. Um, I just don't do cock-a-doodling, grumped Duck. Squawk, said Rooster. Guess what? The little gray cloud got bigger. She's so sad, right? Rabbit was hopping around. I've got no one to play with, said Duck. Come and hop with me, said Rabbit. We can see who can hop the highest. That sounds fun. You can, silly, grumped Duck. I'm not silly, said Rabbit. The little gray cloud wasn't little anymore, guys. It was big, B-I-G. What a grump. She's not even being very nice anymore, right? Uh-oh. Tortoise was dozing in his shell. I've got no one to play with, said Duck, tapping his shell with her beak. It's not very nice. You can doze with me, said Tortoise. It's very peaceful. Boring, more like, grumped Duck. Tut, tutted Tortoise. Now the gray cloud was huge. And it's getting stormy out. Cheer up, duck, said goat, who was busy eating the washing on the line. Hmm, I've got no one to play with, said duck. Share a snack with me, said goat. Here's a tasty t-shirt. Ducks don't eat clothes, grumped duck, and neither should goats. You'll get a stomach ache. Oh, will I, grumbled goat. Now the great gray cloud was ginormous. It was a great gray blob hanging low overhead. So now all the animals were grumpy because this grumpy duck is not being very nice and that might put everyone in a bad mood, right? Look at that gray cloud, how big it got. Not very nice. Then, Something strange began to happen. The great gray cloud turned blue, what? And purple and yellow until it was black. Oh my goodness. That looks very scary. Sitting beneath this ginormous black cloud were a dog who stopped wagging his tail because he's sad. A pig whose ears were droopy, he's mad. A rooster who was no longer cockle-doodle doing, right? Because the duck was basically saying it wasn't cool. A rabbit who had lost his hop. Oh, no. 
A tortoise who had decided to stay in his shell forever and ever, right? Why bother talking to anybody if they're going to be a Crabosaurus? A goat who scowled at that big black cloud and a duck who was still grumpy. Whose fault is it that everybody in this book is grumpy now? Grumpy duck. Hmm. Look at this cloud. What sort of cloud was it? Was it a gloom cloud or a mood cloud? Could it be, was it a grumpy duck cloud? Would it blot out the sun forever? Could it burst? Yes. Whoa. Suddenly there were splat, plop, plink, plitter, plop, dribble. What was coming from the cloud? Rain, you guys, very good. <gasps> Millions of big, shiny, wet, splashy raindrops. They're kind of pretty. Who likes rain, anybody? I kind of like rain. <laughs> Duck spread her wings open. She splished and splashed and sploshed. Remember why Grumpy Duck was grumpy at the beginning? Duck wasn't grumpy anymore. I'm waddling in the rain, quack, quack, she sang. That's what she wanted. She wanted a puddle, right? Oh my goodness. Look at everybody playing. Woof, woof, oink, oink, bleat, cock a doodle doo, hip hop, quack, quack, slurp, slurp. There's a lot happening here. One by one, they all joined in. I'm plopping in the rain, oink, oink. I'm barking in the rain, woof, woof. I'm cock a doodle dooing in the rain. I'm hopping so high, hip hop. I'm drinking up the rain, slurp, slurp. What a glorious feeling, bleated goat. We're happy again, just waddling and paddling by the pond, they all sang in chorus. And where was that big black cloud? Do we remember? <gasps> Gone in its place was a bright, shining rainbow. Look at that face. That is not a crab face anymore. The end. So are we always, are we sometimes grumpy? Not always, I hope you're not always grumpy. Yes. And is it nice to be mean to everybody when we're grumpy? No. I hope that Grumpy Duck apologizes after the story's over. He goes to his friends and he apologizes and they accept his apology, I hope. But the storm passes. We can't be grumpy forever, guys. So I hope there are no Grumposauruses with us today. I hope everybody's in a good mood. But you know what always puts me in a good mood? You know this, is singing. And this song today is a little different. This song is a song that you kind of write with me. So for instance, we're gonna sing the same tune we sing for our listening song. Repeat after me. I feel grumpy. I feel grumpy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now, I'm gonna talk about times I might be grumpy. I'm gonna be honest, okay? This is, these are my words. Grumpy in the morning. Grumpy in the morning. And when I'm hungry too. And when I'm hungry too. I bet you all agree with that one. Let's sing that verse together, ready? I feel grumpy. Yes, I do. Grumpy in the morning. And when I'm hungry too. Good, now I kind of allow you to change the words. So you could think of times you're grumpy. You could change the words and practice on your own. But here I am, I'm gonna remind you that I'm not always grumpy. How about that? Because I don't think I am. I think you see me smile a lot, hopefully. So, but I'm not always grumpy. But I'm not always grumpy. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Now here's times when I feel in a good mood, ready? These are things that put me in a good mood. Like when it's warm and sunny. Like when it's warm and sunny. Or when I'm laughing a lot. Or when I'm laughing a lot. Who could be grumpy if they're giggling? If somebody tickles you or makes you laugh, they do something silly and you can't stop laughing and then everybody starts laughing and it's contagious, you're not grumpy, right? Let's sing that whole song. And at home, you can change the words if you want to, okay? Repeat after me. Let's use the piano. It's so easy, it's the same tune. All you do is echo me, okay? Sing whatever I sing after I sing it. I feel grumpy. Show me your grumpy face. Yes, I do. Good. Grumpy in the morning. When I'm hungry too. But I'm not always grumpy.
when someone's not leading you. So the last thing we always do is a craft. And as you know, I post this video on YouTube and Facebook. On Facebook, in the comments section, you're going to get a worksheet. And it's a connect the dots. They're so cool. You're going to connect the dots by numbers. Remember when we counted our shoulder rolls? You're good counters. You're going to connect the dots, dots with a pencil or a crayon, whatever you've got, once you print out that page. And then you can color it in. It might be a duck. Your duck doesn't have to be yellow or white. White's kind of boring. You could make your duck pink or purple if you want to. Share pictures of what you do if you'd like to, if you'd like to comment. I always love to see them. Some people send us messages. That's cool too. I'd love to see your creations as always. So please participate in the craft if you can. And I will see you again next week. As you know, story times are always Wednesday at 4 and Saturdays at 1030. Okay? Thank you for being excellent singers. I will see you next week. Very good work today. Bye.